Chapter 12 The Muscular System and Digestive System in Human Beings Let's recall few things. What is meant by organ system? An organ system is a group of organs that work together to perform one or more functions. How are the bones in our body joined to each other? The bones in our body are joined to each other by ligaments. Muscular system. Students, try this. Close your fist tightly and bend your arm at the elbow. Now, feel the upper part of this arm with the fingers of your other hand. What did you experience? Did you feel the hardness in the upper arm? This fleshy part consists of muscle. Muscles contract and relax as different parts of our body move. Muscles give our body a specific shape and posture. Muscles are bundles of fibers that can contract and relax as required. Can you tell? What is the mutual relationship between muscles and bones? Muscles are firmly attached to bones by means of tendons. When muscles contract, there is movement at the joint and the bones move either nearer to or away from each other. The action of muscles is necessary for all kinds of movements, from the small movements of eyelids to those that demand great strength as when chopping wood with an axe. We use muscles for various movements like talking, laughing, walking, jumping, throwing, etc. Use your brain power. Which parts of our body are made up only of muscles? Do you know? There are more than 600 muscles in the human body. Muscles contribute almost 40% of the weight of a healthy adult human body. There are about 30 muscles in the human face. Our eyes, mouth and nose are encircled by small muscles. Expressions like happiness, sadness, fear are expressed by the movements of these muscles of the face. Can you tell? Are the muscles of the different organs in our body identical? No, the muscles of the different organs in our body are not identical. 1. Voluntary muscles Working with our hands, walking, eating, etc. are functions that depend upon our will. Muscles used in these actions are called voluntary muscles. For example, muscles in our arms and legs are voluntary muscles. 2. Involuntary muscles Various processes like breathing, blood circulation, digestion are vital functions, that is, they are essential for life. They do not depend upon our will. The muscles of organs which carry out these involuntary functions are called Involuntary muscles. Functions of organs like the stomach, intestine, heart are carried out in their own fixed manner by involuntary muscles. Which organs in our body have voluntary muscles and which ones have involuntary muscles? Find out and make a list of each type. Voluntary muscles. Muscles of hand, muscles of leg, Muscles of face, involuntary muscle, muscles of stomach, muscles of intestine, muscles of lungs, muscles of heart, muscles of urinary bladder. Types of muscles 1. Skeletal muscles The two ends of each of these muscles are attached to two different bones. Examples of such muscles are Muscles of the arms and legs. Their movements are voluntary. They are also responsible for holding the bones of the skeleton together and giving shape to our body. 2. Heart or cardiac muscles. 
these muscles bring about the contraction and relaxation that is beating of the heart. The movement is involuntary. Cardiac muscles cause our heart to relax and contract continuously at a rate of about 70 times per minute. 3. Smooth muscles These muscles are present in the internal organs other than the heart. For example, muscles of the stomach, intestine, blood vessels, uterus, etc. Their movements are involuntary and slow. Various vital functions of our body, of which we remain quite unaware, are carried out by these special muscles. Can you tell? How do muscles perform their functions? Try this. 1. Hold your arm straight at the elbow, that is, 180 degrees, without closing your fist. 2. Bend the arm at the elbow through 90 degrees. 3. Touch the shoulder with your fingers on the same side. Muscles of which part of your arm contracted and relaxed during the above three actions? Muscles in our body always work in groups. When some muscles contract, other muscles of the same group relax. This is how muscles help in the proper performance of the various functions of our body. The muscle on the front of the bone in our upper arm is called the biceps. The muscle at the back is called the tricep. Use your brain power. What will happen if 1. The cardiac muscles do not move if the cardiac muscles do not move, the heart will not work at all. 2. Food enters the stomach and the stomach muscles do not move. If the food enters the stomach and the stomach muscles do not move, food will not get digested. Always remember, muscles of our body must be strong and efficient. Our diet must include proteins and carbohydrates in sufficient quantity for the proper growth and repair of muscles. We must get regular exercise. It makes the muscles strong. We must sit with a straight back and not with the back hunched or bent. Hunched means sit or stand with one's shoulders raised and the top of one's body bent forward. Otherwise, gradually, Changes occur in the structure of the vertebrae. Muscles in the shoulder and back begin to hurt. Disorders of the vertebral column may also arise. During exercise, movements of the heart muscles become more rapid. Breathing, too, becomes faster, ensuring a sufficient supply of oxygen and nutrients to various parts of the body. Do you know... The study of muscles is called myology. Contraction is the basic property of muscles. The largest muscle in our body is in the thigh. The smallest muscle is attached to a bone in the ear called the stapes.